question on prime factorization is about how to split your number into a product of prime factor okay product of prime factor or they call sometimes they call it index notation and then using them to find the LCM or the HCF okay so to split each of them into a prime prime numbers are numbers that can only multiply by two and uh, one and itself two three five 7, 11, and so on. And usually the product is up to this, or maybe 13. Okay? So for 5, 8, 8, first thing, always when you see an even number, divide by 2. Use your calculator to keep on divide by 2. You get 294. Divide by 2 again. You get 147. Okay? This is quite obvious that it's a multiple of 7. So we divide by 7. Equals to 21. And 21 is... 3 times 7. Make sure your last guy is 1. Okay? Now we can say that 588 is equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 3 because 3 there's only one of them times 7 to the power of 2 because 7 there's one of them and 2 of them. Okay? And this is how you express as product of prime factor or index notation. So 1890 is a very big number, but it is divisible by 2. Okay, so we divide it by 2, I will get 945. Anything that ends with 5, we divide by 5. I will get 189. Okay, that will divide by 3. I will get 63. I divide by 3 again. I will get 21. And then 7, 3, 3, and then 1. Okay, so 1890, sorry, 1890 is equals to, we got 2 U here times 1, 2, 3, 3 to the power of 3 times 5 times 7. Okay, so this is how you express as a index notation or product of prime factor. Okay, so now when we want to find what is the LCM, LCM is called the lowest common multiple. A multiple is a big number. So to get the big number, we take the higher power among between the two prime factors. Okay, what do I mean by higher power? So first, I look at these two, I look at 2 to the power of 2 and 2. Which one gives you the higher power? That will be 2 to the power of 2. Next one, 3 and 3 to the power of 3. We take who? We take 3 to the power of 3. Okay, next one. Okay, this, maybe this 7, I write further away. Multiply by 7, square. Okay, next one, 5. Yes, because I want a bigger number, I have to multiply by 5. And the last one, if by now you should get it ready, is 7 squared. Okay, sometimes they ask you to leave the LCM in product form, then you just leave it as this. If not, you can just work it out in your calculator. Okay, times 5, times 7 squared, and that will give you 26460, and that is the LCM. Okay, so to get the HCF, HCF is called the highest common factor. Okay, a factor is a smaller number of the two number, which means we take the lower power among the two. Okay, if don't have, then we cannot take. It. Okay, if don't have, then we cannot take. It. So the HCF is equals to I look at him again, two square and two. We take. Two. 3 and 3 cubed, we take 3. There's a 5 here, there's no 5 here, we cannot take. It. Then the last one, 7 square and 7, the lower one is 7. Okay, so 2 times 3, 6, 6 times 7 is 40. This comparison method is the most common method you need to master when you are looking for the HCF or the LCF of 2 numbers.